On November 6, 2014, the U.S. Navy and the Missile Defense Agency made history with the first integrated air and missile defense intercept from the USS John Paul Jones of simultaneous BMD and air breathing threats. A short-range ballistic missile target was successfully engaged with an SM-3 Block 1B and two target cruise missiles were successfully engaged with SM-2 Block 3As and the entire raid defeated. Building upon success in prior developments, Aegis BMD, the Missile Defense Agency, the U.S. Navy, and Lockheed Martin have combined the latest developments in fleet air defense from Aegis Baseline 9.0 and the latest BMD developments from BMD 5.0 into Baseline 9.C, fielded on U.S. Navy destroyers. This baseline includes a new multi-mission signal processor, new sailor displays called KEDs, and a new computing plant called KEPS. An important advance is Integrated Air and Missile Defense, IAMD, providing evolved capability to conduct multi-mission warfare, increasing flexibility and operational utility of the Aegis BMD fleet. These improvements continue to provide advanced capability to the combatant commander, pacing threat developments, providing modern, maintainable systems for the sailor, and keep the U.S. Navy investment in Aegis relevant well into the 21st century. Flight Test Standard Missile 25 builds on previous tests of Baseline 9.C. Extensive land-based and waterfront testing has ensured the new capability is ready for test and prepared the ship's crew to operate the enhanced functionality provided by the new integrated air and missile defense capability. A U.S. Navy Aegis destroyer is positioned approximately 100 nautical miles off the coast of Kauai, conducting a simulated BMD station patrol. The ship uses simulated operational intelligence to configure the Aegis weapon system to protect the assigned defended area. Based on mission planner outputs, the ship's crew programs the SPY-1 radar to perform a search optimized for integrated air and missile defense. The ship is not informed of the launch time, but remains vigilant to protect the assigned defended area from all threats. Two BQM targets and an ARAB BMD target are launched from the Pacific Missile Range Facility on the island of Kauai. The BQM targets fly toward the ship, simulating cruise missiles on attack, while the ARAB target flies for a BMD attack on the defended area. The SPY-1 radar conducts integrated air and missile search, providing surveillance for the ship and the assigned defended area. The SPY-1 radar detects the BMD target as it enters the radar coverage. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Weapon System develops a fire control solution, and the ship's crew monitors launch preparations for the SM-3. Several minutes after target launch, the weapon system fires the standard Missile 3 Block 1B. The missile completes booster burn and separation, followed by second stage rocket motor burn and separation. Airborne cameras track the missile throughout majority of flight. During the flight, the weapon system provides guidance commands to the missile. Meanwhile, during SM-3 mid-course guidance, the SPY-1 radar has detected the simultaneous cruise missile attack. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Weapon System develops fire control solutions, and the ship's crew monitors preparations for the SM-2 launches while still controlling the SM-3. Two SM-2s are launched against the air-breathing threats. The SM-2s complete booster burn. The dual-thrust rocket motor ignites, propelling the SM-2s toward the targets. The SM-2s transition to terminal mode, detect the targets, and close for mock warhead detonation. Mark India, two hits. Meanwhile, with an SM-3 Block 1B, after second stage separation, the third stage rocket motor ignites, propelling the missile out of the atmosphere and into space. The missile fires both first and second pulses of the third stage, then ejects the nose cone. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Weapon System provides a final update to the missile, 
based upon the most precise information from the SPY-1 radar and multi-mission signal processor. The kinetic warhead is ejected from the third stage. After separation, the throttleable divert and attitude control system ignites and stabilizes the kinetic warhead. The infrared seeker, informed by information previously received from the ship, selects the target and calculates final divert and attitude control system commands to close the target. As range decreases, the target image grows in the seeker's field of view. The two-color seeker, advanced signal processor, and improved divert and attitude control system guide the kinetic warhead to intercept. Mark India, a direct hit. This test demonstrated the system's ability for simultaneous AAW and BMD raid performance under operational conditions. Another first for Aegis ballistic missile defense, continuing to prove Aegis BMD and the standard missile provide the most complete, operational, flexible sea-based missile defense for the nation and our allies. The Missile Defense Agency and the U.S. Navy are continuing to improve and deploy the Aegis ballistic missile defense capability in support of global deployment requirements. Additional tests will prepare the Baseline 9.C for deployment, providing the most advanced sea-based ballistic missile defense for the future. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense. We deliver.